Electromagnetic radiation is composed of wavelengths from very, very long to very, very short. We've talked about the relationship between the wavelength, the frequency, and the speed of electromagnetic radiation. In fact, the product of the wavelength and the frequency is the speed. For electromagnetic radiation, light, speed is fixed at the speed of light. So if the wavelength increases, the frequency has to decrease. They're inversely proportional. And you can see I have wavelength increasing here and frequency increasing here. The visible region in particular we're going to talk a lot about because we can uh, perceive the length of the radiation by the color. So we can make that easy connection between a wave and its length by the color that we see. Long wavelengths in the visible region are red. Intermediate wavelengths going down from yellow to orange to green to blue, indigo, and violet from long to short wavelengths. In fact, this kind of spells a guy's name, Roy G. Biv from long to short wavelengths. I often write that down and I can remember the colors of the rainbow. Now there's more properties to electromagnetic radiation and waves in general. For instance, the intensity. We haven't touched on that yet. You can think of the intensity of waves in the ocean as their height as they come in to the shore. A, a big wave would be an intense wave, a tall wave, an intense wave. How do we do that for our electromagnetic radiation? Well, let's talk about intensity more as we go through this talk.